Alright, hey there guys, Dylan here, I'm going to do some more trailer reviews because, well, I did that first one and I can't just do one and then never do it again, so I just picked some movies and let's talk about them. First one is Epic, and uh, when the first trailer came out I felt kind of underwhelmed because, from my memory, it was just kind of like, yeah, stuff's going on, there's talking flowers and snails and stuff, but this one kind of gives you more insight to the movie where it's this girl and her father's this great explorer and just cause you don't see some doesn't mean it's there and he's gonna find some kind of crazy creatures and it's gonna be really cool and then she gets kind of transferred to their place where it's like the snails talk the flowers talk and it's uh, it's epic it's a lot of very cool looking stuff it looks visually good I think the story is gonna be fun it's got some stuff that reminds me of like uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kid and Honey We Shrunk Ourselves where she's like walking around in her house and she's trying to talk to her dad and then there's the dog that's basically gonna attack her and that like felt like stuff right out of Honey I Shrunk the Kids and Honey I Shrunk We Shrunk Ourselves so that's gonna be that's only a plus for the movie because I love those other movies and with all this little kinda epic fighting going on between these little plant creatures and stuff it looks very fun and the movie's got a stacked cast I mean Jason Sudeikis, Steven Tyler, Pitbull, oh god I, I'm slightly worried about that just cause the way Rihanna was in Battleship, not good. Beyonce, Knowles, Aziz Ansari, Amanda Seyfried, Josh Hutcherson, Colin Farrell, Christoph Waltz, who's the only one I could pick out as like the villain, and he looks like he's gonna be very good in it. And the movie is directed by Chris Wedge, who directed Ice Age Robots and now Epic, and he also plays the voice of Scrat in the newer Ice Age movies. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Looks like a very fun movie and I'd, I'd like to go see that. Next up we have Les Miserables. Oh yeah, I'm, as you say, Les Miserables. I'm not French though. And um, this one I feel underwhelmed by, although I do like the cast. Amanda Seyfried again, um, not my favorite actress, but she can be good if she's in a good movie. Anne Hathaway, who I like, um, not only from Dark Knight Rises, but I don't know if I mentioned I saw, uh, not Crazy Stupid Love, um, Love and Other Drugs a while ago, and um, I'm not going to really talk about it, but because of that movie I like her a whole lot more. <laughs> She's also a very good actress too, so come on. Uh, Hugh Jackman, who's always very good, and Russell Crowe, and this movie is a musical version of the story of Les Miserables, which I'm not sure if it originally was a musical or not, because all I know it from is from reading the book and then seeing the Liam Neeson version which I really enjoy. I mean, that has a very good cast. Liam Neeson, Joffrey Rush, and uh, a few other folks. But, yeah, so I like the old one. So the new one, it's, it's got a lot of work to do because, first off, I don't really like musicals and I already like the original, so it's trouble. And not to say I hate musicals, but I mean, I, I'm not going to go into a movie knowing it's a musical like, all right, let's see all this singing and dancing. That's not like... That's not really what I enjoy. I mean, I like the Muppets. There's a lot of singing in that. But that's the Muppets. The Muppets is a different story. And it's directed by Tom Hooper, who made The Damn United and The King's Speech. So, he's a good director. I'd like to see what he can do with a musical version of Les Miserables. So, probably not a run to the theater and see it. But, you know, I might rent it one day. And that comes out very soon, too. That comes out in, like, a couple weeks. And by now, there's been so many trailers for it. So, I'm just kind of... Discuss basically my thoughts because there's a lot of trailers for Django Unchained, the new Quentin Tarantino a western, but it's about slavery and stuff. It's going to be very good, I believe. I think it might be one of my top movies of the year. That's because Quentin Tarantino is an amazing filmmaker. And the movie, like all Tarantino films, just everyone in the cast looks like they're having a great amount of fun. But of course, the star of the movie, besides, you know, Jamie Foxx, Christoph Waltz, and Leo DiCaprio, is Tarantino himself, the direction. You can just just watch the trailer, and if you know anything about Tarantino, you could have never heard about this movie. If someone showed you the trailer, you could identify, this is a Tarantino movie, eh? It's just, it, it looks so good. And the acting, I mean, Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz seem to have great chemistry. Leo DiCaprio is the villain, Calvin Candy. Amazing choice. I can't wait to see, I think he might be among my favorite villains of the year. And the other actors, I mean... Jonah Hill, I remember from one of the trailers, that was kind of a surprise. And I know Joseph Gordon-Levitt was supposed to be in this and he dropped out, so I wonder who he was going to play. You also got Don Johnson, you got uh, Kurt Russell, I believe. 
I don't know, the thing about this movie also is, as good as it looks, there's a lot of trouble making it, because, I mean, Tarantino wrote it, I believe, for Will Smith, and Will Smith turned it down to make Men in Black 3. I haven't seen it yet, but I feel like that's slightly a mi mistake, because Will Smith really... Um, I think this would be a better comeback movie than Men in Black 3, but, you know, Men in Black 3 is kind of a franchise of his, so I can see why I do that. And I think it almost ended up for the better, because Jamie Foxx is, looks to be completely amazing in this. But anyway, it looks very enjoyable. And uh, I guess the final one for now will be A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charlie Swan III. And this movie just looks... Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, it's got Charlie Sheen and Bill Murray. And basically Charlie Sheen got, like, dumped. And he's feeling weird about it. And a lot of weird stuff's happening. A lot of weird imagery. Charlie Sheen kind of acting crazy. I'm in, okay? Because I like Charlie Sheen when he's acting crazy. And it's also starring uh, Jason Schwartzman, who is in another movie from the director, Roman Coppola. He wrote Moonrise Kingdom that had Jason Schwartzman in it. He also... Well, he's directing this, and in the past he's directed, like, uh, music video stuff. But he wrote this, he wrote Moonrise Kingdom, the Darjeeling Limited. Movies I haven't seen, but I heard are very good. And Moonrise Kingdom is one I'd really like to see. But it just, it's a lot of weird imagery, and Charlie Sheen's running around acting crazy. It's got kind of a 70s type of crazy vibe to me, I think. Or maybe early 80s, who knows. But it looks very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I don't know if I'd want to go see it. I, it almost made me reminisce about uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, another movie with uh, another good actor that does a lot of crazy work, Johnny Depp, where he, him and uh, Benicio Del Toro basically spent the whole movie on drugs, walking around with damn reptiles in a bar and a lot of weird drug-induced imagery. I don't think that's what this is, but I think it's just very weird. Yeah, those are some new trailers that came out. Some of them are actually kind of old. But I just got to them, and hopefully I'll do more trailer reviews soon if any really good ones come out. So, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.